Good morning. So, just waking up here, but I've been pondering a lot of things lately, especially this week. And I've just been reflecting on how there was a time on this planet, and I remember it vividly, when people like me and you were just innocent and pure. And if we cried, we just cried. And if we laughed, we just laughed. We didn't need to analyze everything all the time. And so I feel like this was a very long time ago. But it's who we inherently are. We are these innocent, pure beings who didn't used to think much. We were just at one with the flow of life. We were vibrating in harmony and in unison with one another. And so if, for instance, I felt sad, I would just cry and no one would judge it. No one would say, cheer up or be positive. There was no judgment. You get the drift, right? So if, for instance, a car ran me over, then I would just die. But I wouldn't be worried about a car running me over all the time. I wouldn't have to look over my shoulder all the time because we didn't have that train of thought. We didn't need to scrutinize and analyze everything all the time. So this has got me thinking that maybe at some point there wasn't an ego. And I know that as I'm sharing all this, you guys can feel into this truth. Because I know I do. I remember this. You can feel into the truth that if a lion ate you, then it just ate you. But you didn't suffer because you just got eaten. But if you thought about a lion eating you all the time, then that is suffering. Because you had an attachment to potentially being eaten. Do you get what I'm saying? So as I've been meditating on this this week, I can't help but feel like there was some sort of interference that took place where we were implanted with something that wasn't of this world. And I don't know if it was extraterrestrials. I don't know if it was another race that appeared to be human. But this is how I kind of see it in my mind's eye. Our DNA was tampered with. And the, the ego was inaugurated. The ego didn't exist before. So I'm starting to not believe in an ego anymore. Because if you think about the ego... Just for a moment, just imagine that it's like some sort of an implant or a chip that was put in us. Or, you know, when you take a balloon and you, you twist it into like a dog or into an animal, it's like our energy was, was tinkered with and it was twisted. And when that happened, every all the timelines on this reality started skewing and bending and now we couldn't hear each other and now we started getting competitive and now we started analyzing it and worrying it's like it's like we were on this very pure and innocent lane in the highway or on the highway and all of a sudden we were in between two lanes and everything was messed up and chaotic so something must have happened where another race or extraterrestrials or something messed with us and introduced this new energy that we call the ego. And the ego started producing a lot of separateness and divisiveness between us. And so now when we try to help each other, everyone's defensive. Oh, I didn't ask for your advice. Da, da, da. You know, or when we see someone else being successful, we immediately compare ourselves to them or we're constantly worrying about the future or constantly dwelling on the past. That's not natural, you know, and I experienced a shift in December of 2021 where overnight I stopped going to the gym, not of my choosing. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with going to the gym I stopped eating sugar every night. It's like a file in me or this implant in me was deleted. And what I started noticing as the months went by is I didn't really have thoughts anymore. 
I felt just comfortable in my body. Because prior to that, I was receiving thoughts all day long. Oh my God, what a cool idea. Oh my God, what a cool thought. Oh my God, what a cool insight. Ooh, what a cool perspective. But all of a sudden, it was blank. And I started feeling more like myself. And so I must have deactivated or something in me must have deactivated this implant or this thing that was contorted or distorted in me. And so as I share this, I hope that you're remembering this too, that we used to just be honest with each other. And when we would be sad, we would just allow ourselves to cry. We didn't have to allow anything. We just did cry. We were just pure expressions. We were just pure emanations of source of God. And there was no judgment. And then at some point, judgment made an appearance. Judgment was inaugurated through this this twisting of our DNA or through this, I don't know how to explain it, but it, you know, in those movies, when, when a bus is, is swerving and everyone in the bus is flying everywhere, it's like, that's what happened to us. Everything started getting skewed and disorganized. And it's like we've been in the wrong lane for a very long time. So I want you to just stew over this today. And perhaps spirituality is a coming back home to ourselves by releasing the part of us that is still feeding into this grand lie that I'm better than you or you're better than me or that you're more successful than me or or I'm more successful than you. Perhaps spirituality is surrendering the the parts of ourselves that aren't true they're false they're faulty and as we release our control as we release that part of us that wants to dominate others that wants to manipulate others we are deactivating this implant that was inserted in us and that caused us to be humans that stopped loving each other humans that started fighting each other and combating each other and arguing with each other. But I know for certain that something happened because I have never felt the way that I do. I feel so blank, but in the the most innocent way possible. When people used to approach me or when people used to talk to me and I was in a hurry, I would feel irritable. I haven't felt that in a year. I'm just present with people. There's nowhere for me to go. Uh, I don't want to do the same thing every day. I don't want a thought to tell me, go to the gym. Now go pick up food. Now make sure you eat enough. I I don't want to live like a slave anymore. And what I think happened is whatever was inserted in us turned us into slaves. And we became slaves to the mind. But our true nature is that we are human beings. We are not human doings. So I don't know why I've been thinking about this a lot more lately because I feel so different since my shift in December of 2021. I'm a different person, but I feel more like me. I remember what this is. And so when we talk about surrendering, when we talk about relinquishing our control, we're essentially talking about deactivating this this chip or this implant that was inserted in us by an extraterrestrial race that might be non-physical, that found a way to mess with us. Or maybe they're physical and they they look like humans. Something happened to our DNA. I know this. And it caused the bus to swerve and and now all of us are chaotic and we're in a rush all the time and and we're trying to control our husband or our wife or we don't trust God anymore. But who we are is that we do. Who we are is that when you cry, it's just, that's what's happening. <laughs> no one judges it or analyzes it. No one says, cheer up. When you're happy, you're just happy. You're just one with the flow of life. I think something happened, you guys. <laughs>